Welcome back, this is the third and final episode of my video series on how to create an email campaign with MailChimp. So we're going to be pulling together what we made and learned in the first two videos. We created a template and then, well I showed you how to create a template and then we created a list. So we're now going to use those two things to create a campaign. If you haven't seen those videos then I recommend checking them out unless, you've already, unless you're already at this stage to be able to create a campaign with the template and list that you've created. So we want to go to the campaign section of MailChimp. It is up here and it's the first tab choice that you've got. We then want to click on create campaign and then create an email and then we need to give the campaign a name. Now this will just be the name that we see so we can call it something that will be able to distinguish what this campaign is about. So we're going to call it, um, we could just call it newsletter newsletter or something like that because we created a newsletter mailing list just as an example so we'll call it newsletter and then click begin it also needs to be on regular as well so the to who are we sending the campaign to so let's click on that and then we need to choose a list we can already choose the list that we set, that we created in the second episode so this is already done for us and the personalize the to field this is obviously if you want the to field to be their name so the merge tag is going to be what it's going to take from the list either the first name the last name and or the first name last name combo there so we can choose which we want obviously this adds personalization to your email but it's completely up to you whether you want to we're just going to click off it for now but you just select first name like that if you wanted to do that so click save it's going to go to all the subscribed contacts which is what we want and then from who's sending the campaign uh, it should already be defaulted to what you've put in when you signed up so we'll have my name and then my email address so you can just click save or fill this out how you'd want it to be so this needs to be like your company name because it's something that your subscribers will need to recognize the subject subject line is the line that will appear obviously in the subject section of their email inbox so this needs to be good enough to warrant them opening and interacting with the email so you can actually click this and it will or if you click how to write a good subject line MailChimp will actually tell you and help you as well with that but it wants to be something that makes them interested something that stands out so we could put something like this uh, newsletter that's probably not the best to go with but you get the idea it needs to be something that stands out Alright, so we've gone for that. We're going to do sort of a newsletter style, but the newsletter subject is going to be thank you for 1,000 subscribers, and obviously the preview text will be linked to that as well. So if we click save, we can then move on to the content, and this is where we'll want to implement the template that we created, um, which I showed you how to do and showed you all the techniques and how to do that in the first episode of this series. So if we click design email, you can start from scratch by clicking the basic template should recognize this page if you've created a template before you can start from a theme so there's a few to choose from or if we go to save templates this is the one that I created on well just as a test and as an example for the one in the first episode so if we click that we'll be able to edit it check it and make any changes that we want you can click save and close and it will basically show you a preview there where we go it's loaded and you can send a test email and you can check the status of how everything is and if it's working if you've got any red X's you may have to update your content and change it to however it suggests so once you've got all that you can click finish later schedule or send if you click schedule you'll be able to choose a date and time that your email is to be sent if you click send now I'm not if I click send you'll get the last chance uh, to obviously turn back or click send now. I'm not going to click send now because of the emails I put in. I put in 1234 at gmail.com so uh, if you see the 35 it'll load up the list here. You can see these emails. I'm not so I'm not going to actually send it to these. I don't know if these exist or not but they probably will not be welcome to receiving this email. So that's it. Click send and your campaign is all ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you found this series helpful, I hope that you understand everything and I will see you in another video, thanks for watching.